Welcome back to another video. If you have not seen the other two, I suggest you go and watch them. Very fun stuff. What we do here is we go in online mode and we just spectate. That's it. That's all we do. We try to provide a little bit of professional commentary to these very casual encounters on the internet, starting with game one here, no matter how terrible they are as well. We got two little Macs against a Bowser Jr. and a Zelda. Um, gonna be a little bit close here. Very low GSP on the... Uh, blue team here, and but two little max. I mean, anything can happen, can't it? So we're going into game one, two on two, and we are on battlefield. First thing the little max is going to do is get as close to the floor as humanly possible. Bowser Jr. content to shoot cannonballs while Zelda stands there doing side Bs, but the little max are going to get in. Zelda looking for the recovery is going to land very vulnerably on stage, but Bowser Jr. is saying Tokyo Drift. Nah, -uh, we're going to have some stage control here. The Little Max are going to stand on that platform. Looks like they want to get back down, but Zelda is going to keep them at bay. Little Mac runs in, looks for the counter, but he's not going to find it. This is going to be a projectile game against the Little Max, and we've got ourselves a mini game, folks. Little Mac is going to get a little bit greedy there and die off of the side by not recovering correctly. White Little Mac does have himself a KO punch, but he wastes it right there. Zelda throwing out that counter. Uh, uh, Nehru's love there. Feror's win gonna get her caught up in the middle of the stage. A forward smash is gonna end that stock. Little Mac number two there is looking a little bit worse for the wear. He gets a counter out, but it's not gonna hit anything. It's pretty clear the gameplay, uh, the game plan for Zelda and Bowser is to kind of just stand as close to each other as possible and shoot projectiles across the stage. If they get a little bit close, Zelda uses that Nehru's love to create some space. No KO punches so far. That's going to be the difference maker. Zelda dying at 60% to a charge B from Little Mac. And suddenly we've got an entirely different game here. White Little Mac's going to look for the KO punch. He's going to find it. A little bit wasted, though, if you ask me. Bowser Jr. was at well beyond kill percent. But this is uh, a little bit more in the favor of the Little Max here looking to counter that cannonball but he's not going to get it the other little mac is going to go flying not quite dead from that uh cannonball zelda running right back to the corner using the tokyo drift to get across the stage back to her uh, his partner there is is bowser jr little max are going to be unified with some stage control you got one little mac who's looking to die oh that could have been deadly a little team combo there the jab to the up smash conversion. Zelda's gonna recover high there and is not gonna be punished for it. Bowser Jr. gonna die to a charge B from Little Mac. Zelda on the other side of the stage from a huge punch as well. KO punch is on deck for the wireframe Little Mac, but he just blows it for some reason. Nowhere near the Bowser Jr. and Bowser Jr. wouldn't have died to it even if he would have been hit by it. We've got four stocks against one. Uh, but uh, that's a neat little maneuver to uh, be right in the middle of the stage there. He's going to catch one little Mac with the hammer and the other one with the explosion. Going to knock a stock down, but we're still three stocks to one. This is not going to be an easy game for Bowser Jr. to win. And uh, the wireframe little Mac seems to be uh, fully aware of that, going for the tried and true strategy of teabagging in the center of the stage. Looking for a charge forward smash. Up B is going to put some, some damage on that little uh, uh, that Bowser Jr. for sure. They're just playing with them now. Just playing with their food. You gotta be careful though, because if, you know, Little Mac goes a little bit too far off stage, he's gonna be in a, a bit of trouble there. Dash attack is gonna catch both Little Macs in the fray. Side B is gonna go right over that cannonball. Up B is gonna hit nothing. There's an up B that's gonna cause some damage. Are we going for like a ladder combo? Like you can't do that if you're not on team attack. Both Little Max trading down smashes. I see that there's no general strategy other than just kind of throwing out punch maneuvers. That's going to kill Wireframe Little Mac. The smart thing to do is to share stock, and they do do that. Little Mac number two is at 112%, though. Bowser Jr. climbing. We just need to kind of... That should be an up smash. That should have killed right there, but we're going to go for a jab combo instead. Uh, this A lot of things can kill Bowser Jr. right now. We're looking for any kind of maneuver. Wireframe Little Mac going to stand there holding the A button, and... Bowser Jr. has had enough. He says, see ya. I'm out of here. My people need me. And he rockets off to freedom. Little Mac team is going to take the win. Let's go to game two. Okay, next battle brings us to Japan. This looks like a four-man free-for-all. It's going to be on Dreamland 60 uh, Game Boy. Excuse me. We got Lucas, Joker, Donkey Kong, and Ganondorf. Pretty similar GSPs, if I'm being totally honest. It's tough to see from the scores alone, who's gonna take the win here? 
Ganondorf is the only one at a loss ratio, a win ratio of 40%, everybody else sitting at 53. So place your bets, folks. This is gonna be a slobber knocker if I've ever seen one. We are going right into game two here. Three, it's gonna be a battlefield. One, and let's get her. So far, Ganondorf pretty handy, to, uh, happy to stand on the right side of the stage, but he will be interrupted. Oh, a down air is gonna knock Lucas down on the right side, but he does know how to recover, so he's going to make it back. A little bit precarious there on the right-hand side of the stage. On the left-hand side, we've got Joker putting the work onto Donkey Kong. Ganondorf is going to interrupt it, though, and give Lucas back the stage control. Joker going to that Donkey Kong 4 forward throw is going to get him off stage there, but he's just going to let him recover. Up throw from the Joker, no follow-up. PK Fire going to send Ganondorf going off the stage in the other direction. Neutral Air will connect with a last hit only. Going for a charge down smash will not catch the Ganondorf sleeping there. Donkey Kong with the side B and to a Donkey Punch is going to send Joker reeling. It is a two stock fight. Joker is half defeated here, folks. Everybody else though looking to be in pretty juicy percent. Donkey Kong's got that punch charge and he seems to be content to just kind of hang out on the platforms. Here he comes with a side B looking for the same combo, but Ganondorf gonna head him off with a forward smash. You're not gonna get me today, sir, said Ganon. Luke is gonna recover to the stage. Donkey Kong's just kind of chilling, man. He's got one stock, 5%. He does not want to get involved. Ganondorf got himself into some trouble there, it looked like, but he's not gonna get hit by anything. Ganondorf, the only one with two stocks remaining. 146 though, pretty juicy percent. He will recover safely. Arsene is in play. Side B is gonna send Ganondorf flying, but obviously is not going to kill just yet. Looking for the fort. Ah, that should have been a back throw. Back throw would have killed him instantly, but he goes for the down throw instead. I'm not sure which character actually picked up the kill, but Ganondorf is now done, but he's pretty healthy. Donkey Kong is nearing some A forward smash from Ganondorf, almost fully charged, is going to straight up take out Lucas and Joker, completely trivializing whatever percent they happen to be at at the time. Now it's going to be Donkey Kong with a cargo throw, looking for the win on a stage spike, and he will pick it up! No tech from the Ganondorf, a little bit cheesy from the Donkey Kong, if I do say so myself, but you know what, it doesn't matter because it was effective, and Donkey Kong will score the victory, and... If I'm not mistaken, or was it Ganondorf? Ganondorf had the 40%. Doesn't matter, let's go to game three. Going home to the United States, that's not my home, but we're gonna have a doubles match, Banjo-Kazooie and Terry on the blue team versus Marth and Captain Falcon on the red team. We're going to Luigi's Mansion FD. Uh, we got an 86 win ratio, but GSPs are pretty well similar apart from the Terry. Uh, uh, looking about four to 5,000 GSP behind the leaders here. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this game transpires. We're gonna have to look out for some item shenanigans or things like that. We'll see what's going to happen. No, it's just a straight up three stock, seven minutes. It's your standard tournament rule set by the look of it on FT. We've got some uh, chaos in the middle of the stage. Captain Falcon going for a couple of Falcon kicks there. Side B's not going to connect. Marth is gonna send the other team off stage with his dancing blade. Two Wonder Wings down from the Banjo-Kazooie now. Side Bs are gonna be the uh, weapon of choice for most characters in this matchup. The fully charged Shield Breaker is going to hit, but it's not going to kill just yet. Terry is gonna look at the juiciest percent, but a forward smash from Banjo-Kazooie is gonna take out the Marth. Captain Falcon holding down the stage though, ready for Marth to come back. An up smash is gonna take out the Terry. Falcon Kick will send the uh, Banjo-Kazooie off stage. He will recover with a Wonder Wing. Captain Falcon at pretty juicy percent here. Uh, uh, Banjo Kazooie as well. Terry's gonna go down. I'm not sure what hit him. I was looking at the other side of the stage. Marth looking like it's melee out there, just hitting Terry with forward airs. I'm not sure what happened, but Terry is not going to be able to recover. Banjo Kazooie is the only character in this fight that has not yet lost a stock. It's gonna be Captain Falcon versus Terry on the left hand side. Banjo Kazooie and Marth on the right. Gonna get hit by that grenade there. And Blue's team has the stage control. There goes Marth and Captain Falcon off the left-hand side. Falcon punching for his life there, but not going to hit anything. Just going to meet Banjo-Kazooie's shield. If that had hit Banjo-Kazooie, he would be dead for sure. Looking pretty dire here for that Marth. If he gets hit by a strong move, he's going to be out of here. 
Nice bait looking for that up B from the Terry. And they're gonna share stock with the Banjo Kazooie. Now we've got a very interesting game here. Red team, two stocks apiece versus blue team. Three stocks total between them, but both players on the red team looking like they will die to a lot of things right now. Banjo Kazooie going deep on the left, but it's not gonna net him anything. Whatever that hit him up till, I think. There goes Banjo Kazooie, and there goes the Marth. Captain Falcon almost meeting his end there, but he's not going to do it. Pretty even apart from the high percent Terry. There goes Captain Falcon. And we've got a one stock game, folks. Looking for a Falcon Punch. I doubt that would have killed anyway. Terry is looking pretty, uh, pretty hurt here, man. If if this were going for a down throw, what is actually happening? This is pandemonium. This is Bedlam. Terry getting thrown off stage with a back throw by the Marth. Captain Falcon looking pretty juicy right now, too. This could be anybody's game. What even happened? Falcon Punch! That's gonna hit and that's gonna be it for Banjo Kazooie! Terry versus. Oh my god, this is anybody's game right now. 130% apiece. Captain Falcon versus Terry, and he's gonna hit him with the geyser, and that's gonna be the game. Okay, indeed, sir. Chaos. Utter chaos. That's going to about do it for this session. I believe that was game three. Uh, if you enjoyed the commentary or the gameplay, do me a favor. Leave me a like, subscribe, whatever it is that you like to do. Hey, if you really enjoyed it, show your grandma. I'm sure she would love it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo! Toodaloo?